so um, I am here to talk to you more about my feeling about it feels like I am a king you know and uh, maybe that should be um, when you hear someone say like that you should see um, arrogance and the narcissism in his eyes but um, I don't feel like that I simply feel like a king and um, you know why am I not arrogant about it well maybe it is because um, because of the suffering that I have been mentioning there's suffering there is um, the having to deal with your conscience and your your um, can you really be be above others and so on you know um, it's, it, it's a weird uh, weird feeling and and why can I why do I feel like a king and at the same time I don't feel uh, arrogant about it questions I cannot answer uh, but I believe I came to that conclusion from observation uh, my observation of the surrounding and observation of uh, how I interact with things sometimes when I run with a car someone just stops stands still like like a zombie and looks at me or something there's this weird interaction with people I look normal and still and I try to act normal you know um, I try to, to be normal, but still they, 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 uh, they stop almost as if you're, you, there is this pheromone, you know, and they just awaiting orders or something, you know. And if I, if I truly am a, a king, there is a, a loneliness in that also, you know. There is... Um, um, I, I think something, I say something, and that's how it becomes. It is a sense of loneliness because you, 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 human beings are social animals, no matter how, how much you like to be, to be uh, alone. No matter how much I like to be alone, I'm also uh, social, you know? And yeah. So coming to this conclusion about me feeling like a king and I want, a part of me wants to w wear a crown, you know, it's, it's silly, uh, it's silly, yeah, it's silly, but a part of me wants to do that, um, yeah. And why do I feel like this? Well, I think it's the pearl stuff. I think it's the philosopher's stone stuff. I think it's the flame stuff, the the the, the sun stuff, the um, the two into one stuff. I think it's that kind of stuff that creates this feeling and this way of being and. It's also the fractal, you know, I've been, I've been uh, discovering something that I call the Detroit fractal, something that I haven't talked a lot about lately. And my interaction with that and the phoenix symbolism appearing there, and there is this a lot of symbolism around the world circling around Detroit, and then it 
felt like Detroit, uh, like it selected me, uh, like D Detroit selected me as its king, you know, and king, king over what, right? What, what am I king over? Well, I feel like a king over over, over death, and uh, maybe there's something about uh, there's something about creation also, right? Creating new new. Uh, um, new things like poetry uh, and uh, it something going into the machine uh, as, I, as, I, as I like to say loved things goes into the machine of reality and there is a metamorphosis of of that it goes as almost as energy into it into the machine and no, not metamorphosis, not metamorphosis, no, transmutation. It's, it's transmuted into something else. Now someone walks past me here. I have to wait for it. Um, well. Yeah. So, but I'm honest to you, I like honesty, I like truth, and the truth is that I do feel like a king, I feel like a king, and uh, you know, that's how it feels to me. And I'm not uh, aroused about it, it's just something on the inside, you know. I've, I've been feeling this for a long time, I'm, I'm um, um, at ease with it, you know, I'm, I have accepted it, you know. I accepted that I can affect things, I can control other, or influence other people, just like those chains. It's like people are chained around me, like do as I say, you know, something like that, you know, do as I say, because I say so, because I'm the authority or something like that, you know, uh, how can that be, right, how can it be? And again, the, the fact that, and, and if you are a, an analytical person and you think, you look at me and thinking, what, what is, what is he on or what, how can, I, how can I see that there's a point in what he's saying? Well, there is the two books, right? I'm just saying that Philosopher's Stone and then the Hell book about the fire. It's the same subjects that uh, the Initiates of the Flame, the book uh, by Manly, Manly P. Hall. He, he, um, he's talking about kings, becoming a king in his book. It's about, it's about nurturing the inner flame uh, so that you become a king. And he mentions authority, that you are an authority over our others, so to say. Because you, you made the necessary sacrifices, you know. I did my sacrifices of, of the, the material. I, I, I have shown with my actions what I think is important and that's why, that's why I'm, uh, I'm listened to um, that's why I'm influential um, so yeah I'm used to this feeling and um, it's, new, it's something new to you but I have been thinking about it for a long time, and uh, it feels like this. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, Jesus is uh, healing people, right? I am not doing that, you know. Important, right? When I speak, um, things die, you know, for real happens and uh, I'm not enjoying it like uh, 
like a murderer or something. I'm not, I'm not enjoying it, you know, in that way. Uh, maybe sometime I did, you know, because we're all, uh, when we get new, if you're good at bicycling, if you start getting good at it, you're, you're like, oh, I'm good at bicycling. Uh, but uh, I don't know, you know, it, it was a bit entertaining. More, now it's more like, I, I do feel like this royalty, you know. I feel like that. And uh, to you that believe it's a psychological disease, well, just compare with Manly P. Hall's book. It's the same thing. I did it, uh, how do you say, independently of him, the, my, my writings. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, okay, guys. Okay. See you.